I'm old school, I'll, I'll be here, I'll be better. I'm work in progress. Let me be time disciplined on our brain trust topic, fair elections, empowering voters, supercharging small donors. Quote, without public financing of elections, the voices of ordinary citizens all too often are drowned out by narrow agendas of special interest, unquote. That was Illinois State Senator Barack Obama. I started out working on public financing for state legislative campaigns with the state Senator Barack Obama, but let me just be clear, it was Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky from Illinois who introduced the first clean election bills in that state for public financing for state legislative campaigns, but it was State Senator Barack Obama who actually passed the first public financing bill out of the Illinois State Senate for Supreme Court judges with bipartisan support. Now, when I first started advocating for public financing nearly 15 years ago with an organization called Public Campaign, uh, which is still in existence and I serve on the board, it was only a vision of how we can begin to create a system, how we reduce the influence of big money, how we level the playing field so the candidate's viability can be based upon who they represent and what they stand for and not just how much money they have in their campaign accounts so that an elected official can spend all of their time, not just raising money, but raising issues and, and raising hopes and, and raising hell if they have to. Fair elections is not just about where and how elected officials get their money to run for office. It is about who gets represented in the political process. And far too often, as someone once said, money talks and the rest of that stuff walks. It's about making sure that everybody's voice is heard. And when the Buckley versus Vallejo Supreme Court decision that said money is speech was translated into the more money you have, the more speech you have, nowhere is this ideal of representing the everyday average ordinary American than the people that the Congressional Black Caucus represents and fights for every day. 15 years ago, fair elections was merely a vision it has always been possible that people of color candidates can raise large amounts of money. Presidential candidate Obama has been able to raise a lot of money, mostly from internet donors. But the digital divide has left too many of our low income Americans not able to afford computers, let alone campaign contributions. So Senator Obama has broadened his donor base from those who have a lot to those who have some but we need to make sure that those who don't have much, their voices and their concerns are important too. And that's why Senator Obama is a proud co-sponsor of the Fair Elections Now Act, a Senate bill that was recently introduced by chief sponsors Dick Durbin, Democrat from Illinois, and Arlen Specter, Republican from Pennsylvania. Fair elections or public financing strikes at the core of our democracy. Money in politics determines who runs, who wins, and what those who win focus on. Case in point. Headline, what 700, what's $700 billion worth? $700 billion, with a B, to bail out the Wall Street finance industry. And everybody knows how we got there. We keep ceding too much public decisions to private interests. The banks, the insurance companies, the mortgage brokers, they use their campaign contributions to buy access to elected officials and to purchase public policy outcomes, which stripped away any meaningful regulations that were designed to protect the public from these disasters to occur. And so for less than a billion dollars, which is what public finance would cost, about $5 per household, less than 1 30th of the federal budget, we could have fully funded the Fair Elections Act for all senators and congressional candidates. That billion dollars seems quite a bargain right now compared to 700 billion, doesn't it? And as we look to a new president and a new administration to make sure that every man and woman who wants a job is entitled to a livable job with a living wage, safe working conditions and a secure retirement, that we make sure we have an America where every child is entitled to a high quality public school education regardless of where they live or who they were born to, as we look to an America where we make sure that high quality, affordable health care is a right guaranteed to all. We have to clean up Wall Street, yes, 
but we have to clean up our elections as well. 15 years ago, clean elections or public financing was merely a vision. And now it is the law in seven states, Arizona, Connecticut, New Jersey, New Mexico, North Carolina, Maine, and Vermont, and two cities, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Portland, Oregon. And people are now using these laws as an important alternative to the current pay-to-play system. It has not only broadened the possibility of running for office to a more diverse field of candidates, it has also broadened the range of issues that gets discussed.